The Atlanta Braves are your 2021 World Series Champions! Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Philly Sats. Still video cash here at and last night's sixth game in the World Series between the Atlanta Braves and the Houston Astros as the Braves defeat the Astros ball final score of 7 to nothing as they win their first World Series championship since 1995 when they defeated the Cleveland Indians. Now guys, before we get into this video, please subscribe if you haven't done yet. Please share the your bell. Please like this video. Come on on this video. Share this video. And let's get into this. So I would like to say congratulations to the Atlanta Braves on winning the 2021 World Series. Right from a Phillies fan, uh, you know, to all the Braves fans and to the Atlanta Braves organization in that matter, I'd like to say congratulations. This was the better team, uh, and uh, they got hot at the right time, right? They got hot at the right time. And as a Phillies fan, it kind of gives me some peace knowing that, you know, my team did get swept out by the Braves to, you know, eliminate them for the season, uh, and that team would go on to win the World Series. I said it makes me feel a little bit better about getting eliminated, right? Because, you know, when the Phillies got eliminated by the Braves, the Braves didn't look like they were going to go away really that far in the playoffs. So, them to win the World Series like that, it just kind of shows that, hey, you know, the Phillies were facing a very tough opponent, a team that won the World Series. So, uh, you know, I get the Braves a lot of credit for beating all the odds and coming back. Reminds me so much of the Nationals. Uh, I've said that pretty much all postseason long. Uh, and they finish off the storybook season with a World Series championship. The Astros just folded like a stack of cards at home. Uh, I mean, losing 7 nothing. We should pick up the scoring summary here in the top of the third inning. Jorge Soler, homers on a fly ball to left field. That ball is absolutely smoked, and Luis Garcia just started walking uh, away from the mound after he didn't even, he just put his head down, and Jorge Soler knew he got it too. Uh, and a 3 and shot also scores Abis and Rosario, uh, his third homer of the postseason. Think about this, he out-homered Astros uh, in the World Series, uh, which is just absolutely crazy. So 3 nothing Atlanta. Then we pick it up top of the fifth inning, Dansby Swanson, uh, homers on a fly ball to left field, his second homer of the World Series. A true on Santos scores Abby and it's now 5 nothing Braves. Uh, so the Braves now uh, pouncing on the Astros with a commanding 5 nothing lead. Now we pick it up same inning. Freddie Freeman doubles on a sharp fly ball to left field the other way. Uh, his ability to go to all fields is something spectacular. Jorge Solaire comes around to score as it's now 6 nothing Atlanta. Then we pick it up. Top of this 7th inning. Freddie Freeman does it again ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I tell you what, man, this guy is just, he's amazing. He really, really is, and he deserves this ring. Uh, Zeno Marzani, 5 ball, 2 center field, his second of the World Series to get the Braves a 7 to nothing lead. Uh, so, you know, the Chipper Jones type, right? I mean, like Freddie Freeman uh, gets his World Series ring. You know, very, very well deserved. That has had a Hall of Fame career, uh, so to add to his already impressive resume, a World Series ring. Uh, so I give him a lot of credit, right? I mean, congratulations, right? I really, really mean that. But Phillies fan looking on, uh, you know, the Braves, they really, really battled all year long. I said that, you know, every single video seems like this postseason. They battled all year long. They did not give up. Uh, and uh, look where they are right now. When you don't give up, look what happens, right? I mean, not to say you're always going to win, uh, but they fought and they won, right? Jorge Soler named your World Series MVP. Himself a fantastic uh, World Series, right? Out homering the Houston Astros. Uh, so, <laughs> yes, he did out homer the Houston Astros. And speaking of the Houston Astros, they only managed to collect six hits in this game. Uh, and Max Reed was something spectacular, right? I mean, six innings, uh, only allowing the four hits and didn't walk anybody and he struck out six so Max Free definitely his best start of the postseason uh, so much much better than his previous couple starts in the World Series and in the postseason uh, and their bullpen came in and did their job right Mill Smith allowing that ground out to Gory Goriel the shortstop over to Dansby Swanson over to Freddie Freeman and the Braves are your 2021 World Series champions right so that's how it all ends and, uh, for the second time in just Three seasons, the Astros lose in the World Series again. Um, so uh, last time it was to the Nationals in the seven games, and this time it is to the Braves in six games. Uh, so the Astros once again uh, get eliminated. And it's disappointing if you're an Astros fan, right? I mean, it's just you, you win that you know that 2017 World Series championship, but it's a season where you cheated. As a 19, you pretty much is a lock to win that World Series against the Washington Nationals. You ended up losing nine seven games at the Nationals. Kind of reminded me of the Braves, as I said before. And in this World Series, you. Could 
could have proved all of baseball wrong. I mean, of course, you can't, you know, you can't, you know, get rid of the cheating that you did four years ago. But what you could have, you could have sent a message, and uh, they did not do it. They, yes, they failed to do it. Dusty Baker whiffs at it again to get a World Series championship. I mean, he's a Hall of Fame type manager, but one thing that is missing from his already amazing resume is a World Series championship, and he was so close to getting that, and uh, he did not do it. Uh, he did not do it again, right? So, uh, you remember the 2002 World Series when he managed the San Francisco Giants, uh, you know, playing the then Anaheim Angels. Uh, they lost that World Series. Uh, then, uh, you know, he got two seasons as the Washington Nationals manager. He managed two World Series type teams, uh, and he couldn't make it out of the first round. I don't really know how much of that was his fault. Uh, but uh, it, it's unfortunate, right? Because we all know he's a Hall of Fame manager. We all know he's a Hall of Fame manager. Uh, so uh, he's had himself a very good managerial career. Uh, so he'll be back next season. But, I mean, a lot of the Astros players will not be back next season. Guys like Oris Correa, uh, you know, probably will not be back. So it's going to be kind of up in the air for you, Houston Astros. Now, is this era coming to an end, right? I mean, I think we all thought that after the George Springer, you know, leaving in free agency. But look what they did. They made it to the World Series. They won the AL pennant after he left. So who knows? Uh, you know, who knows? One thing we do know is that the Braves pitching staff was spectacular last night. Here's another here's another example, right? The Astros offense being very inconsistent. Only pushing off six hits, as I said before. I mean, very, very little production out of guys like Gouy Goriel, Alex Bregman. I mean, Jose Altuve was not great in this World Series. Uh, you know, it just, if you're a Houston Astros, you totally underachieved, right? I mean, you totally underachieved. Uh, so, Luis Garcia, two and two thirds, two hits, three runs, all three are earned, one walk in, three strikeouts. Uh, and there's a reason why he didn't go very deep, because he wasn't very good at all. Right? I mean, not only was he not pitching well, but his stuff didn't look good. He didn't look good. The Astros, uh, you know, bullpen also wasn't very good as well. Christian Javier, I mean, uh, he was a disaster in this game. Uh, you know, they just didn't look very good out there. Uh, they just didn't. And it kind of looked a little bit tired, I think. I think they looked very, very fatigued. The fatigue was starting to show. If you pick a pitching staff that was going to, you know, look fatigued, at least you were going to be predicting. And I, I would have probably said the Braves pitching staff is probably going to look fatigued. But uh, the opposite happened, right? The Astros were the ones who really, really looked fatigued. Uh, so it uh, turns out that the Astros, who were favored to win heading into this World Series, another uh, you know World Series projection that was false, right? And what did I say going in? I said Braves in seven. Uh, and uh, the Braves ended up winning in six. Uh, so I said six or seven, but I really was banking on seven. I thought it was going to be seven. But the matter of fact is, ladies and gentlemen, that I did predict the Braves to win the World Series, right? In the you know the uh, pennant recap video, right, when they defeated the Los Angeles Dodgers, I stated my predictions. Also in the comment section, end of the first game of the World Series, I kept saying, Braves in seven, Braves in seven. Uh, so uh, they ended up winning it in six games, which is, of course, better than seven. Uh, so this was definitely a very exciting World Series, right? A lot of action, uh, a lot of back and forth. The Braves, you know, were one win away from doing it at their home ballpark. I know in Atlanta, you know, Truist Park, and they couldn't do it. And so instead, they do it in Houston. Uh, they do it in Houston, especially when they went up 3-1. You're pretty much thinking it's over. Uh, it is over. And the Astros had their chances to, to win this World Series. They definitely had their chances, and they failed to capitalize. Uh, they failed to capitalize. If you're a Houston Astros fan, you're waking up pretty disappointed this morning because, you know, your team, uh, you know, stacked with all these offensive pieces like Altuve, Brantley, Goriel, you know, Alvarez, Alex Bregman, uh, you know, Kyle Tucker. Uh, I mean, you could have gone away, you could have gone way farther. Uh, Carlos Correa, you could have gone way farther than this. Uh, you easily could have won this World Series. Uh, but the Braves, man, you got to give this game a lot of credit. And this is another team uh, that, that is very, very stacked as well. You go through uh, Ozzie Abbey, Freddie Freeman, Austin Riley, Eddie Rosario, Jock Peterson, of course, didn't really do anything this World Series. You go take a little Jorge Soler, the World Series MVP. I mean, these are two very good teams. You know, Travis Darno, who's a far better catcher than Martin Maldonado, uh, and, you, and not even to mention the pitching staff. And, and this is why the Braves won, because their pitching was better in the World Series, right? We all talk about pitching. This is a lesson that the Phillies should be taking, right? Pitching wins games. Stop stacking up on all this offense and go out and stack up on pitching, right? Pitching wins games. Of course, you got to have a certain amount of offense, uh, but pitching wins games. That is the most important thing in this game. So uh, the Braves understand that clearly, 
and congratulations to Antonopoulos, right, for not giving up. Uh, he went out and made some moves, and he did not give up on this team. And look what happened, right? He won the World Series. So congratulations to guys like Freddie Freeman, especially the younger guys like, you know, Ozzie Albies, Austin Riley. Congratulations to the whole entire Atlanta Braves team, right? Congratulations to Brian Snicker on getting his World Series ring. Uh, so, they, you know, they fell short, you know, a couple times in the postseason last couple years. Uh, and this time they make sure that they win, right? They were, of course, they were one win away from winning the NL pennant last season. They made a three-one lead against the Dodgers. Uh, and, they, and they, of course, they uh, choked and lost three straight. And they come back the next year. They win the pennant. And then they win the World Series. Uh, 2019 got knocked out in the first round against the St. Louis Cardinals in Game 5. They fell short. They definitely fell short. You know, 2018 lost in the Division Series to the Dodgers. But this year, they won it all, right? They won it all. They got their revenge on the Dodgers for beating them in the postseason, you know, over the past, you know, few years. Uh, so uh, they finally got their revenge against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Example of a team that doesn't give up, right? And this should send a, you know, send an example for the rest of Major League Baseball team that, you know, had to overcome some difficulty, right, with losing a star outfielder. Uh, you know, like Ronald Cunha Jr., you know what? Their clubhouse banded together, right? I mean, they went out and they won, right? I mean, they went out and they won. They, they tried to put it behind them. And they went out and just said, you know what? Just, just win today. Win today. And that's what they did, right? They battled back. Uh, you know, they won the division. Uh, you know, it kind of did come down in last week. I will say that. Uh, but they won a division. They snuck it into the playoffs. And I tell you, we, we, I, I totally read out the Braves. Right? I remember when George was on here, I'm going to say maybe a month ago, I was saying like, oh my gosh, the Braves have no chance uh, at uh, winning the 2021 World Series. Well, uh, they do just that. Uh, so uh, Brian Sticker uh, delivers Atlanta's first World Series championship since 1995. Uh, and Antonopoulos, uh, congratulations to him as well. So as goes for the Phils, I'm back to coming to Phils, finally. Right, of course, I always have to coming to Phils. But, uh, so a free agent video uh, tomorrow or Friday. I have not decided yet. Uh, so that is the start of the 2021-2022 offseason. So I'm looking forward to the offseason. First weekly update on Saturday. Big announcement on Saturday, right? I'm not going to give away what it is. What it is about this this channel, my whole entire operations. A big change is coming, right? A big, big change is coming on Saturday. So stay tuned for the first weekly update announcing the big change, right? Uh, big changes, right? Uh, big changes on Saturday, right? So we have an announcement, uh, you know, on the weekly update, the first weekly update of the 2021-2022 off season. So every Saturday, weekly update, a video in the middle of the week. A Bryce Harper uh, MVP odds, uh, you know, video maybe next week. I mean, we're talking about that. Uh, so, congratulations to Atlanta Braves on winning the 2021 World, World Series. Jorge Slayer named your uh, World Series MVP. Braves get their first World Series championship since 1995, right? I mean, last time they appeared in the World Series in 1999, they got swept out by the New York Yankees. So, this time they make sure that they win it. I'm sure, guys like Chipper Jones, John Smoltz, Greg Maddox, you know, those guys of the world, right? I'm sure they're pretty happy right now, right? So, for the uh, current Atlanta Braves squad, so congratulations to guys like Freddie Freeman, a class act to baseball, right? I mean, he's just a, a fan favorite. He's a baseball favorite. I, I love Freddie Freeman, right? I mean, he's just a good man. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't done yet. Please don't forget your bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Check out the social media. Link in the description section. At Philly Sandstove, Instagram, TikTok, Instagram, call or text 267-225-3392. Email me. Phillies asked to event at gmail.com. So the Braves uh, defeat the Astros 7 0 and win the World Series. So I'm going to say it again. Congratulations to the Atlanta Braves organizations, their fans, anybody who's watching this video, any Braves fans. Congratulations. So, guys, thank you for watching. I'm Luke, and I'll talk to you later. I'll see you guys.